Hello, hello, and welcome to another set of battles in Go Battle League. Specifically, we'll be doing our first and, for the most part, last set of battles. Well, not in Ultra League proper. I think we do have one more opportunity for that later on. One or two more opportunities. But we do, I believe this is the final week for Ultra League Remix. So we'll try and capitalize on that as much as we can throughout tonight. So, yeah, ultimately, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into some basic rewards. Let's go, let's go. Uh, first things first, we're going to start off easy with, uh, with some open Ultra League. Maybe not easy, but definitely more familiar territory, that's for sure. And we're going to start out with Open Ultra. We're going to start out with Swampert sitting front and center. We got ourselves Altered Form of Giratina providing that extra uh, extra coverage. And finally, we'll be closing out with the MVP itself. Oh, oh. So with that said, let's see how well this team performs. It's been quite a while since we battled, so let's see if we can shake the rust off a little bit as we go into our first battle against Go8240. All right, go. Let's see what you got. All right, first matchup is against a uh, the altered form of Giratina. So naturally, fighting against that now. <laughs> go ahead and start chucking the first of many Hydra cannons its way. I'm assuming they're just gonna tank it out. Yep, they're just gonna tank it out. No problems there. That I am gonna go ahead and see if I can tank out this first move. Uh, it is Shadow Sneak. We are feeling relatively okay. Not all the greatest, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, with that, I am gonna go ahead and fire another Hydra Cannon their way. Just, you know, get a little extra pock shot in. Why not? Get that going. And with that, I actually am gonna go ahead and switch out for Giratina. One thing I do have to keep out for is that Cresselia does know Moon Blast, so I am going to go ahead and shield just in case Cresselia does indeed know Moon Blast. Indeed Moon Blast! So, yeah, we gotta keep an eye out for that one. <laughs> in the meantime, we'll go ahead and try and do as much super effective damage against it as we can with Shat um, Shadow Claw. And <laughs> we'll have um, Pock shotting away at it with Dragon Claw as much as we can in the meantime. That I am gonna go ahead and shield one final time. Just make sure we don't get any any extra damage from that moon blast as much as we can. That keep that safely in our back pocket there. I'm right, gonna go ahead and fire off another dragon claw. We are able to get the Cresselia into the red. Can we clear with dragon claw before it gets to moon blast? We'll never know because we are now face to face with an Obama Snow. Hello, Obama Snow. How are you today? That I am actually going to go ahead and switch out for the Fire Turkey. Get a lot of extra damage in with that uh, Incinerate. I believe it was Incinerate. <laughs> now we are going to need to tank out one of these moves. It's Energy Ball. We are feeling well okay. At the very least, we are able to clear out the Obama Snow with relative ease now it's time to see if we can most likely i'm assuming we're going to be taking on a shield with this one yep but they now know they are in the presence of an earthquake ho -Oh. <laughs> well, are they going to hit us with shadow sneak or do they have ancient power on them they have dragon claw on them okay so now we know both of their moves now we're going to go ahead and fire off another Earthquake their way. We are able to clear out the second shield there, so with that, I actually am going to go ahead and switch out for my Giratina. Uh, I will be needing to tank out this next either Shadow Sheik, Sneak, or Dragon Claw, but we should be able to handle that with fairly relative ease, like so. And with that, we are able to keep their Giratina in for a little bit longer as we fire off our own Dragon Claw their way. And get them nicely into the red there. That though they have been saving up some energy for the return of our Giratina, so definitely not gonna be feeling too happy about this next one. Yeah. Hang us 
deep into the red in that. Not gonna chance it. <laughs> Not gonna let this one slide. Let's just go ahead and fire off that Dragon Claw. Get that Giratina out of here. And with that, we only had a little bit left of the Cresselia, but we were able to finish it off. Secure our first win in Ultra League. It's first win of the night. GG's. GG's all around. Alright, so solid solid start. A little bit a little bit more more pressure than I thought it would be, but you know, we, we got there. <laughs> we made it through. Now we're going into match number two. Who will be a uh, some opponent. The moment. Oh, we have against Edward Morrison. Alright, Edward Morrison, what do you got? First matchup is against a Gyarados. Possibly. Alright, we got the countdown, so that, that's good, that's good. <laughs> Alright, so with that, we got we got our own pock shots in first, so we got that going for us. Uh, we seem to be experiencing a bit of technical difficulties in this match, not gonna lie. But we are able to get to our charge move first, and we do we are just go 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 ahead and go and hot with Sludge Wave. If we can catch them off guard on this one. We will see. Time to let our Swampert go Super Saiyan here. And we are actually able to get ourselves some decent damage on the Gyarados, but again, I'm not sure if it's because they were expecting Hydro Cannon or if they're experiencing some lag on their end. Betting it has something to do with lag, considering how long it's taking. That though, I am going to go ahead and fire a Hydro Cannon their way, just to see if I can wake them up real quick. Get them out of this, uh, get them out of this trance here. Tumper goes Super Saiyan once again. One moment, fire the Hydro Cannon, we'll clear out the Gyarados. And with that, right now our opponent still seems like they're trying to um, log back in here. Assuming it's going to be just defaulting to their next Pokemon, which is going to be Empoleon. And with that, I am going to give them a couple seconds here. I do want to give them a couple, a couple minutes just to try and see if their um, their uh, their connection will restore. Uh, in the meantime, I do notice that my uh, screen is cut off a little bit on the sides here, so I'm gonna adjust that real quick. So, um, don't mind me, just gonna do a little bit of editing here. Ah, too much. Oh, oh then I still have, um, ha, I still have uh, notifications on, so I gotta turn that off right after this. Say what you want, this is a good opportunity to get some extra debugging out of the way. So that's that's kinda nice. Yeah. yeah. Not bit too much there. Okay. There we go. Technical issues partially averted. Let's go ahead and move the screen a little bit over to the side here. <laughs> there you go, I got it. We're not get a very exciting battle, but you least got to see a little bit of the behind the scenes of um, what it's like to readjust my screen setting, I guess. Yes. I don't know, but in any event, we have the rest of this Empoleon. Let's just go ahead and fire off a Hydra Cannon their way. Let's go Super Saiyan again. Uh. Might as, well, might as well check out the rest of their team while we're here. Mind you, I'm not particularly happy about this win, but... <laughs> I mean... I guess at this point, a win's a win, and... Yeah, you gotta take what you can get, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Eventually, someone will, um... Pretty sure others will do the same. that they start off with the Gyarados they went in with the Apollyon what did they use for their final Pokemon I wonder it is a Mew 
So that's exciting. Possibly you could have made some major trouble with my Giratina, especially if I was packing some kind of shadow move. Like, I think you can learn Shadow Vol. I think if I recall, actually if I recall correctly, I think Mew can learn any any charge move at its disposal, so it's not like... Uh, it could, it is possible that I was packing something pretty nasty for my Giratina, so... All in all, this team would have been spelled some pretty major trouble for me if, if they weren't lagging out. This would have been a very interesting match if it weren't for the fact that um, lag has claimed itself another victim, and I'm sorry to see you go, but nonetheless, bittersweet victory there, but I guess it's a victory nonetheless. Uh, but, and it did give me an option to um, fix up my. Uh, oh. Apologies on that, but nonetheless, GG's, GG's all around. Again, an unfortunate way to win, but we are now three and uh, two and zero. Oh, so take with that what you will. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe I was lagging out on their end as well, and they were able to get a win off of me as well. So, so but um. Uh, oh, now we're now moving into match number three against I think it was like Arshi Aura or something like that. I don't really remember. So with that, they switch out for the Gyarados, into which case I decide to switch out for the Giratina, who well, unfortunately is now having to take out the full power of Dragon Breath against it. So not particularly ideal, but that though we are able to get Gyarados nicely into the red um, and I'm gonna go ahead and shield this next move is crunch so go to some pretty nasty super effective damage to us and it did lower our defense that's not ideal <laughs> but it is what it is Excuse me. that though we have gotten Gyarados deep into the red I am just gonna go ahead and let it uh, crunch me. Oh, it's gonna hit me with Aqua Tail, so good news, we are able to save the shield for another day. <laughs> that we are able to clear out the Gyarados, into which case we are now once again face to face with the Mel Metal. That though, I am gonna go ahead and fire one more Dragon Claw their way, get a little bit of extra damage on them there. And with that, I'll go ahead and switch out for my Dragonite, into which case they will switch out for... I'm switching out for Swampert, they're switching out for Dragonite, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, that though, let's see if I can surprise them with a real quick Sludge Wave. Yes, we are. That... Uh, I think I am going to go ahead and shield on this one, I want to keep my Swampert alive as long as I possibly can. Uh, let's see... I'm gonna go ahead and respond to Kai now with Hydro Cannon. Back going. Launch that, we actually do manage to clear out their first shield. Let's see if we can get their second one. Unfortunately, no, we're not able to... We're not able to fully capitalize on that. <laughs> Unfortunately. That, unfortunately, we are saying goodbye to our Swampert, R.I.P. But we do have en enough energy for one final Dragon Claw against this Dragonite, so let's go ahead and see if we can clear out the Dragonite or clear out the shield. We have cleared out the Dragonite, so I will take that. I will take that. Thank you very much. But they're going to go ahead and fire off what I'm assuming is their first of many rock slides, so definitely not looking forward to that when Ho-Oh comes around, but hopefully we'll be able to get some good damage in with Incinerate before things get ugly. Hmm. Got to hit us with the first of many rock slides, and I'm pretty sure rocks hurt ho oh, quite a lot. Oh, yeah. That's not ideal. But unfortunately, while I do have the type advantage there, unfortunately, it has the bird killing moves on its side. So, unfortunate first loss of the night, but it is what it is. Uh, GG's, GG's all around.
All right, so right now we are still in the positive. We're still two and one. Uh, let's see if we can keep ourselves into the positive. Let's go for that three and one as we go into our next match here against Lily09872. All right, Lily, what do you got? All right, Lily's rocking a, the Swampert Mirror. So I'll take that, I'll take that. That's, we know what's coming if they're going Hydro Cannon, yep. Yeah, they're going, they're going straight for it. I think I'm going to be able to tank this out. Yep, let's go get us into the yellow, but we're fine, we're fine, we're all fine here. That, I'll go ahead and pay my respects and fire off my own Hydro Cannon your way. And with that, you actually do decide to block it, interestingly enough. Alright. Want to keep that advantage as much as can. Fortunately, I did save myself one extra bit of energy, so I am able to get my second Hydro Cannon off first. Get you into the yellow there. That. That, I will go ahead and use up my first shield as well. Pretty sure that would have instant KO'd my uh, poor Swampert there. That, they do respond with a Giratina into my Hydro Cannon here, so that's a rather interesting move, okay. That, let's go ahead and switch out. Let's keep this mirror thing going here as we bring out our own Alter Giratina. Fortunately, we do have a tad bit of a health um, okay, well, that, that, that health advantage came and went. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and fire off our own Dragon Claw. Take the, okay, do decide to champ it out. That's fair, that's fair. But they are going to be firing off their next Dragon Claw. We should be able to tank it out. Uh, probably going to get deep into the yellow, if not right into the red. So we are deep into the yellow, so that are looking not the greatest not the greatest i'm not gonna lie to you things are things are getting a little rough out here <laughs> that i think we have done enough damage to the giratina for me to say goodbye to my own giratina r.i.p buddy you have served well uh, but with that, I'm going to waste no time here. Let's go ahead and bring in the hole. Oh, see if we can incinerate this Giratina out of existence. I am unfortunately going to be needing to tank out one more Dragon Claw. Or if it's Ancient Power, this is definitely going to hurt a lot. Dragon Claw, we are able to tank it out. Not feeling the greatest about it, but it is what it is. That, we are now face to face with Gliscor. Uh, with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and switch back to the Swampert, hit it hard with that Hydro Pump, I mean Hydro Cannon, sorry, and that good damage in, get that good damage in. <laughs> with that though, I am gonna go ahead and shield this next attack, I'm assuming it, yep, it is Night Slash. Hopefully I can get to one more Hydro Cannon before... Swampert Mises Demise? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> that way we're able to fire off one final Hydro Cannon its way, clear that one out, and with that, we'll be feeding their Swampert a little bit, but hopefully we have enough in us to first fire Hyd- not, not Hydro. Toho doesn't have any Hydros, but we do have Earthquake on our side, which should be able to get just enough neutral damage to seal the deal. <laughs> But with that, GG's. GG's all around. That. That came down to the wire. Uh, there's there's no way that didn't come down to the wire on that one. My goodness. Whew, okay. That was... That was a good match. <laughs> that, that... I got my heart rate going. Whew. <laughs> Fortunately, that does mean we've secured a positive positive win loss in this one no matter what so good news on that end but still it would be very nice to still be able to win this in the four and one and we'll see if we can as we go against Scala. Scala I think it was like 1923 but um that we'll be doing our first match against a Samurott. 
Well, I'm assuming is chucking out a Hydro Cannon at this moment. So this is probably going to hurt quite a bit. Yeah, there it is. Oop, there it is. Then we can go ahead and fire off our first Hydro Cannon. Let's see how bulky you are, Samurott. Really bulky. Not bad. Okay, okay. Also interesting that I'm not sure if Fury Cutter generate. I think it has greater initial energy, but um, I think we're able to catch up very, very quickly with um, one shot on our side. <laughs> that Swampert is looking a little bit pale, so I'm definitely going to want to shield out this next Hydro Cannon here. Don't want to take that chance, you know. That. Yep, we can get to one more Hydro Cannon. Let's go ahead and fire that their way. And then we'll go ahead and switcheroo, switch on out for the Giratina. That way we don't have to worry about tanking out that final Hydro Cannon. Giratina can do that. And Giratina is able to do that with relative ease. That, let's go ahead and Shadow Claw Samurai out of existence. Get it out of here. And now we are face to face with a Togekiss. Definitely not an ideal place for my Giratina to be, but here we are. <laughs> that though, we are able to clear out the second shield on the Togekiss, so. Silver lining, we are able to get that, so. <laughs> that. Go ahead and just kind of keep on pock shotting away at this Togekiss and stall for a little bit more time as we get in one final Dragon Claw their way. Get them into the yellow and unfortunately say goodbye to our Giratina. And now let's go ahead and come in with the Ho-Oh. I am going to go ahead and shield this one because it could be Ancient Power for all I know. It is Flamethrower. We didn't really need to shield that one. But it is what it is. Uh, with that, since Earthquake is basically going to do virtually nothing against this Togekiss, I am just going to go ahead and run Incinerate on it and clear it out. That, our final opponent is Lucario. Fortunately, Ho-Oh is fully set for this Lucario. We got Earthquake, clear it out of here in one shot, and secure victory number four. GG's. GG's all around. Alright, so there we go. Solid way to start the day. Four wins out of five. Unfortunately, one of those is due to lag, so take it what you will, but at the very least, we were still able to get a positive win loss either way. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead and claim this 430 Stardust, this Silver Pineapp. We are going to counter with a Charmeleon. I nap you. Extra Charmander candies, even though it's real. I kind of don't need Charmander. And the Charmeleon agrees. <laughs> I don't need Charmander. Charmeleon candies. There we go, we got ourselves a brand new Charmeleon. Second fire type out of 10 encounters apparently. It's not half bad IVs, but I'm still gonna transfer you out. Sorry, buddy. All right, but with that, let's go ahead and claim these three rare candies as well. And we have made our way to rank eight. <laughs> you can tell I have not done, I have not done a lot of battles since, um, since the last time we've done this. Uh, Alright, but there we go. First set of the night, four wins out of five. I'd, I'd say that's a fairly solid start. <laughs> I think that's I think that's a safe bet. But in one of the previous matches, we did get the opportunity to see Samurott in action against us. And now, as we jump into our first set of Ultra League Remix Battles, we're actually going to be trying out the Hydro Cannon version of Samrat for ourselves in this next match. So, right now we'll be starting out with good old faithful Shiny Flex Charizard up at the front. We have our ever bulky 
Armored Me Too with Psy Strike hanging out in the middle. And finally, we'll be closing out with a brand with our most recently added uh, Ultra League ready Samrod packing Hydra Cannon. And I believe I packed it with Mega Horn as well. So yeah, with this with this setup, let's see how well we do. So match number one will be against Yelp MT. All right, Yelp, what do you got? Yelp is coming in strong with Polyrath right at the front. Right at the get-go, we have ourselves a Polyrath to worry about. Uh, with that, I am actually going to go ahead and shield this first one. It could be Power Up Punch, which I didn't really need to shield, but just in case, it is Ice Punch, which probably could pack some pretty nasty neutral damage, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, speaking of fairly impactful neutral damage, let's go ahead and respond with a Dragon Claw. We're going to have to get a decent amount of damage on the Polyrath, but with that, let's go ahead and switch on out for our Mewtwo, into which case we will now be facing off against a Charizard. Thing. Let's go ahead and fire off our first Psy Strike, clear out their first shield, I'll take that. Uh, with that, let's see how armored this armored Me Too is. I'm assuming. Oh no, it's going against Dragon Claw, so we are sitting very pretty on that one. Probably gonna want to sh want to shield this next move though. Could still be Dragon Claw, but I'd rather not risk it, considering where my Me Too is currently sitting right now. Go ahead and fire another Psy Strike their way. Get that going. Clear out their second shield. That's... I'm assuming this is the time they're going to try and fire out their Blast Burn. But fortunately we have Samurai up front and center. And up, they're attacking once again with the Dragon Claw. Alright, alright. And but with that, they've coming in hot with the Venusaur. Let's see. Yeah. We are able to get to Mega Horn, so let's see if that's able to do us a solid here. Going for it. Oh, we are able to get some pretty decent neutral damage, actually. So, at the very least, we have that going for us. <laughs> I can't argue against that. We have that going for us. That, though, we are looking at Frenzy Plant. It is clearing out our Samurai. RIP, buddy, you have served well. Uh, with that, though, I'm going to come in. As hot as I can with our Charizard, uh, who I'm assuming is now going to be trying to tank on either a Frenzy Plant or a Sludge Bomb. It is Sludge Bomb, so yeah, that, that hurts quite a bit, not gonna lie. <laughs> but we are able to clear out the Venusaur. Uh, we are now once again face to face with the Polyrath, who does have a charge move at the ready. So let's see how well we survive this Ice Punch. We are still alive, fortunately. Now, I know it's not very super effective, but I might as well see if I can get ourselves some pretty hefty damage in with this Blast Burn. And we actually are able to get some pretty decent damage in with the Blast Burn. Not gonna lie. Expecting that. That they do come in hot with their Charizard, and I'm suspecting they might have Blast Burn at the ready. Definitely not ideal if it is. No, it's Dragon Claw. We actually do still survive that, fortunately. We are able to clear out the Charizard. Now can we get off Psy Strike? Yes, we can. <laughs> By some miracle, the Armored Mewtwo is coming in clutch. Psy Strike is clearing out the Polyrath. And we survive <laughs> our first match of Ultra League Remix. GG's, GG's all around. My goodness, my goodness. That. That was a bit too close for comfort there. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, that was that was wild. My goodness. But, um, all right. So it's cutting it close, but the team is still able to come in clutch. Uh, let's see if it can come in clutch once again as we go against Marine. I think that was 41,500. I believe. But nonetheless, we have our Charizard going against there, Lucario. So we actually have a pretty solid start here. That they do decide to switch out for the Gyarados, into which case I will switch out for our armored. Excuse me, for our armored Mewtwo. 
There's a possibility it's hitting us with Crunch, which is going to hurt quite a bit. But, uh, Me too is still able to survive it. Um, I, I don't know if I'd say with relative ease, but it has survived it. So. Take whatever victories we can get. Let's go ahead and fire back with Psy Strike. We are able to clear out their first shield, so we'll take that as a high rank victory here. That, though... I'm gonna go ahead and shield since we do have Psy Strike at the ready. I do want to keep my Mewtwo alive too far off said Psy Strike. Either clear out their second shield or we can clear out their Gyarados. Either way, I see it as a win. <laughs> yeah, we've cleared out the Gyarados and now we're face to face with a Gardevoir. That it is packing charm, so. Charizard probably would have been able to handle Charm a lot better, but I've decided to bring in the Samurott so I can get in a little bit of that that Hydro Cannon spam going, you know? Also, side note, shout out to the Shiny Flex and the Gardevoir. I respect that. The whole Ralts family is just absolute... <laughs> Uh, the Ralts family is a really great shiny line, not gonna lie, not gonna lie to you. I really like the shiny line for the... In any event, we got ourselves one final opponent in the form of Lucario. We do have... Uh, Charizard has returned, but it is going to need to tank out whatever move Lucario has prepped. Hopefully we can. It's close combat! It hit us hard, but we're still fighting. <laughs> we're still alive. <laughs> By some miracle once again, and we're able to fire off the Blast Burn and clear out the Lucario. <laughs> and with that, GG's. GG's all around. My goodness. <laughs> the good news is this team is racking in the wins. The bad news is they're 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 kinda at very close for comfort, so. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather have close wins than close losses, uh, but they uh, kind of close on me, really uh, really testing me today. Hello, Taj S12. Welcome to the stream. Am I location spoofing on this? No, I am not location spoofing. Thank you for asking. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we are up against our next opponent, who is packing a Shadow Machamp. One that has absolutely nothing in relation to your question right now, but... Any any particular reason why, um, why you're asking about location spoofing? Do I have um, the C mod or something? I used to be able to, but now I'm actually able to actually go out. Can't play it. Ah. Uh. Oh, yeah, it's 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 tough out there to be able to um, is it actually go out and play Pokemon Go? Meantime, we managed to clear out the Shadow Machamp, um, but go out. A message coming in on that one, but um, sorry, I, I, I it's like I want to respond to you, I really do. I'm just in 
I'm just having a hard time like multi multitasking. Um, <laughs> I'm um, I guess I'm, I'm Oh, we managed to clear out that one. Um, GG's, GG's all around. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm physically not able to go out. Um, um, I'm. Uh, sorry, I'm not good with talking about this. <laughs> um, I guess I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, is it? A thing that you're usually not physically able to go, or is it be mostly because of like, um, you know, the whole level pandemic lockdown kind of thing? I know that that's. Uh, I mean, either way, it's it's not it's not great, but I'm just curious. If you don't mind sharing, I mean, if you don't want to talk about you know, that, that's that's fine too. Um, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, um, of course, anything. <laughs> Oh, I feel you. Ah, uh, screw. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry to hear that, man. Um. Yeah. Uh. The only only consolation I guess I can give is at the very least, you know, since lockdowns and stuff, if uh resources like instance and stuff has gotten a lot better but i guess it's, it's still kind of difficult without being able to get like items and whatnot um but uh otherwise if you do want to continue it without doing any like spoofing kind stuff um yeah if you ever need like a very little bit of items you can always um if you're, still, if you're still playing, you can always, um, with the, the friend codes on the corner, you can always try and help send out, like, gifts as much as I can. Um, I think I'm a little bit better at sending out gifts than actually receiving them. <laughs> so, uh, if you're, if you're ever in, if you're ever feeling the need to play, but you're a little bit short on items, you know, I can try and hook you up with gifts, if anything, but that's, that's... That's all I that's all I got for you. Otherwise, um, um I hope uh if if the there's a thing with your back is something that's, that's taking its time to recover, I just hope that that the whole that whole thing recovers well and recovers quickly. Um Yeah. <laughs> uh Yeah. Um if you ever need items, friend me up. <laughs> Nowadays it's more difficult. Don't worry about me, bro. I'll be fine. Just for now, stuck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I believe. Um, yeah. Hopefully, get well soon. Uh, yeah. yeah. If you still want gifts, that, that that's that's all. The friend codes at the bottom is always an option. The top one's definitely more active than the bottom one, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> or if you need someone to just like battle on the off and the on the off on your off time. Always always down to fight. <laughs> no, not physically. I, I don't I'll, please please don't fight me physically. <laughs> anyway, but always down to battle it out. Pokemon Go. Ultra League, Great League. <laughs> nah, it's okay. Keep your gifts for your loyal followers. But now are you not also a little? No, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna put you in that corner. I'm not. I feel like I'm gonna be putting you in a corner <laughs> with that one. As far as fighting goes, I lost my own account, so restarting. Ah, uh, the. But if account 2.0 ever feels <laughs> ever feels up for some practice matches, put me in whatever corner you want. Don't care. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hey, right, but yeah, <laughs> just don't ask me to bend over. Oh, oh. <laughs> no worries. We don't. 
We don't... We don't do that here. <laughs> We don't, we don't, we don't ask for physical requests. <laughs> Alright. Well. In the meantime. The, the option for gifts is always open. If you're ever up for it. Or the option to, or the option to battle is always up for it. Meantime. I'll be continuing our battles in Ultra League Remix. <laughs> Yes, greatly appreciate for that. Thank you very much, uh, Salotage. Also, thank you for the interaction as well. Sometimes I feel like the, the stream gets stale without someone to talk to, but... <laughs> oh, it's in Latvian. Translate to Traveler. <laughs> cool. Ah, right, in the meantime, we're surprisingly holding up for uh, some of my names. Oh, I see, I see. Your name translates to Traveler12. Oh, that's awesome. I'm I'm voyaging. I guess I'm somewhere. I, I was like, oh, you fit in perfectly with the champ. I'm, I guess I'm voyaging trainer. I'm not really... I guess I'm somewhere. Traveler somewhere in the name. <laughs> I guess it's implied. I don't know. <laughs> that's cool. Traveler12. Do you prefer to go by... Am I pronouncing it right? Celotaj? Kalotaj? Or should I just... Or, or is, is... Traveler better? Is, is Traveler just like less... <laughs> um... I don't like butcher... Butcher the uh... The Latvian language. <laughs> Trav? Okay. Sounds good, Trav. <laughs> Well, <laughs> glad we cleared that up, and glad we're able to keep up a current winning streak in, Remi in Ultra League Remix with this team. Honestly doing a lot better than I thought it would be, but... Still got two more matches in us, let's see if we can close it out. Let's see if we can keep this up, let's go for that 4-0 as we go into our next match. Uh, uh, Good, no English speaking you pronounce it without hearing it. Like, oh, thank you. <laughs> that, let's go into match number four against NT59874. We got ourselves an encounter with the ice version of Darmanitan. I'm very glad we started out with um, Charizard there. They have decided to switch out for Groudon, into which means I can switch out for the Samurai. I have lost touch for a moment, <laughs> so not as great of a Hydra Cannon, but we are still able to fire out. And, at the very least, we are able to fire off, um, we'll take out the shield at the very least. Team missing before, but on this account, been avoiding gyms, so no affiliation yet. Oh, that's fair, that's fair. It does sound wild though, like the idea that just uh, just keep leveling up as new and remaining as neutral as physically possible. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Real challenge: Can you make it all the way to level 40 without picking a single team? <laughs> oh, good X completion. I can respect it. It actually sounds like a really fun challenge, I'm not gonna lie to you. I might- maybe I'll create a third- <laughs> Maybe I'll create another account, though. That, that's solely dedicated for, um... Leveling up without picking a team. How neutral can I stay? Is it even physically possible? How many features am I missing out? <laughs> if you just give XP, you can, but it'll be slow. Yeah. It's gonna be a very slow progress, but if we keep it up, we might be able to get it done within the century. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's gonna be a close call, but I think we can get something going. 
In the meantime, we were able to clear out their Dragonite with our Mewtwo. We are now face to face with their Daimonitan with our Armored Mewtwo, but Armored Mewtwo was able to seal the deal on that one. GG's, GG's all around. Alright, so good news. This team has gotten us to 4 and 0. Oh. Now let's see if we can seal the deal, close it off with a full 5 and 0 oh against 1206. I think that was Yamataka. I, I kind of missed it, but first matchup against a Shadow Scizor. So thank goodness we're starting out with a Charizard at the very beginning. That they decide to switch out for the Polyrath, into which case I will switch out for the Armored Mewtwo. That I am going to go ahead and tank out this next move, because I think no matter what it throws at me, we should be relatively okay. It is Power Up Punch, so we are definitely okay with that one. For that though, we do have to keep a close eye out as to what possible move it could be powering up for. Um, it is Ice Punch. Fortunately, we are still able to handle that with relative ease, even though they have gotten themselves a single attack boost on that one. Um, that they do decide to shield out that first attack. I'm assuming they're going to try and come in hot with another Ice Punch. Probably a Succession Ice Punch. Possibly. Uh, with that, it does get us pretty deep in... Oh, it gets us into the yellow. Um, but with that... We are able to confusion our way through that Polyrath, so I'll take that. Uh, with that, we are now face to face with a Reggie Steel. I'm gonna go ahead and fire off another, uh, another side strike their way. Doesn't really do much to it, but it's okay. Uh, we'll go go ahead and bring in the Samurott. Get some pretty good neutral damage in with our Hydro Cannons. That going against this Reggie Steel, this absolute unit of a Pokemon. <laughs> Uh, with that, I'm going to try and tank out whichever move it is. If it's Flash Cannon, it is Flash Cannon, so good news. I actually do have type advantage in this particular instance, so I'll take that. That though, they do decide to switch back into the Scizor. That, fortunately, Hydro Cannon is able to do quite a wallop of neutral damage to this Scizor. Um, unfortunately, I didn't really need to just let it tank out this next move, but I guess you know, let it let, get the get the get the shield flex in. I guess I don't. Know. <laughs> uh, but with that, we're gonna go ahead and fire off another hydro cannon. Reggie steals way. Probably clear out the shield with this one. Yeah, we are able to clear out the final shield for Reggie Steel. Uh, let's see if we can get one final. Hydro Cannon out at this Reggie Steel. Accidentally missed a couple of bubbles there, but we are able to get Reggie Steel very comfortably into the red. And with that, they have decided to call it a day, so we were able to seal the deal and get ourselves five wins out of five with this team. Saving this team for later. GG's, <laughs> GG's all around. Alright, so with that, you can go ahead and claim these 430 Stardust, this fast TM. We got ourselves an encounter with a Hypno, with the full moon right behind it. Rather unnerving. Hypno is always just an unnerving Pokemon. Excuse me. Alright, but with that, we got ourselves a brand new Hypno. IVs, not the greatest. So, yeah. <laughs> now, let's go ahead and claim these three rare candies as well, and this 860 Stardust. And that we've made it to rank 9. <laughs> that, I'll definitely take that. And I can go ahead and proudly. Update the numbers, so now start out the day strong with a 4-1, and 
moved on to an even stronger set with a 5 and 0, which means it's all downhill from the <laughs> Uh, hopefully not. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. We're, 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 we should be okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump right back into basic rewards. Let's go back into the open version of Ultra League. And this time around, uh, yep, we'll be running with a brand new set of Gallade up front and center. Let's see how well we can run with Gallade. Not sure how well that's going to go. In the meantime, we do have ourselves our other Penguin Bird MVP in the form of Empoleon in the center. And finally, we'll be closing out with the ever trusty Venusaur in the back. So, let's see how this goes. Okay, so, with that, first matchup is against Wii Dejour. Alright, Wii Dejour, what do you got? Alright, first matchup is against the Giratina, naturally. <laughs> <laughs> that we're definitely not feeling all too great at surviving this Giratina, so I'm gonna switch out for my Empoleon. Kinda gotta give up location where you are once. Yeah, I, I won't deny it. <laughs> that that part's a little bit on the rough side, not gonna lie, but it's okay. If I space it out enough, if I traverse if I traverse the lands far enough... <laughs> Thank you. There's only so much you can do on a tiny little island, though. I feel like even saying, like... Giving subtle hints on a tiny little island is, um... Giving away a decent amount of information on that. But, um... Yeah, what it is. Right, but anyway, uh, this Kiratina does seem to be ripping my uh, Empoleon to shreds over here. <laughs> yep. And unfortunately, there goes my um, my lovely little uh, Empoleon there. RIP, buddy, you have served well. Uh, with that, though, we are now once again face to face with Giratina with my Gallade. And I think Gallade, for the most part, is pretty fragile, but I might as well see if we can tank on Dragon Claw. We can, actually. Good to know, good to know. Right now, we're not sitting in the greatest of places, but uh, we are we are where we are, I guess. Uh, with that, though, we are now face-to-face -face with the mirror matchup of Venusaur versus Venusaur. I'm pretty sure what's coming up next is a Sludge Bomb, but I've decided to hang on to that shield for now. <laughs> with that, I'll go ahead and respond to their Sludge Bomb with my own Sludge Bomb. Yeah, we are able to clear out their first shield at the very least. Uh, with that, I am going to go ahead and use up my final shield here. Okay, so the shield gains there. With that, though, I am going to go ahead and fire off my next Sludge Bomb. And let us see... If I can clear out the Venusaur. On up, we clear out... At the very least, we clear out the second shield, so... I'll take whatever victories we can get, I guess. Uh, with that though, they are pretty good. Go hit us hard with Sludge Bomb, I'm assuming. This does mark the end of my Venusaur. RIP, buddy, you have served well. With that though, I do come in hot with the Gallade. We do have um, close combat at the ready, so I'm just gonna go ahead and nukeify this Venusaur. And with that, we are now up against a Swampert. I do have. Uh, Leaf Blade at the ready. Let's see how much damage we can get in with this one. Ooh, shoot! Ah, we tied it out. We tied it out. And unfortunately, that counts us as a loss. <laughs> Woo! But dang it, if we did not come close on that one. My goodness. <laughs> well, actually, we can't get any closer than that because that was a legitimate tie. But... <laughs> We held on as long as we could. That was... I don't know how to feel about that. 
<laughs> I don't know how to properly feel about this team, but I'll, I'm gonna stick it out as it is. We're starting it out with a tie. Unfortunately, we're starting out with a loss, but it's okay. If we're able to tie, there's a good chance we might be able to win as well. So let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can pick it up. Uh, side note. Uh, Trav, thank you very much for the follow as well. Greatly appreciated. Uh, maybe your follow <laughs> will help us out as we go against Tarkus Red. I think it was Tarkus Red. Uh, but with that, our first matchup is up against an Escavalier. That. We're gonna stick it out for now. We're gonna go ahead and chuck a Leaf Blade their way. Let's see if they're gonna. Let's see what they'll do with that. Now they do decide to shield it out, so we got that at the very least. But I am going to go ahead and shield. I think Gallade is not quite known for its bulkiness after all. <laughs> but that they do come in high with the Mega Horn. We'll go ahead and chuck out the close combat. Let's see if we can clear out the Escavalier. Let's go for it. No, nope, but we have just, we are able to securely take out the second shield at the very least, so I'll take that. Uh, with that though, I am going to go ahead and give up my my second shield as well, since I'm pretty sure they have okay they're running mega mega horns, so I guess I didn't really need to worry about that all that much. <laughs> with that, we are able to clear out the Escavalier, and we have a decent amount of energy built up. So with that, we are now face to face with a Clefable. But good news, we are able to get off uh, well, at least one Hydro Cannon, and our Steel Typing is helping very much against this this Charm spam going on. Yeah, let's go ahead and fire off another Hydro Cannon and see if this clears out the Clefable. It does, so good news, we're able to make it through that one. Unfortunately, we are now once again face to face with our old friend, Altered Giratina. <laughs> Always such a pleasure, Giratina. Always such a pleasure. That time, I'm gonna go ahead and respond in kind with our Gear Giratina. <laughs> with our Venusaur. Gonna be taking quite a quite a good amount of hits for the team here, but at the very least, I think we should be able to do some pretty decent damage with Sludge Bomb. It's not going to be. Yeah, it's not very effective, unfortunately. Because Actually, I believe that's for its ghost typing. It's ghost typing protects it in that one. Which I find very interesting. <laughs> I guess you can't really get affected by poison if you're dead. <laughs> so, um... I guess the logic stands. <laughs> but, uh, nonetheless, let's go ahead. Since we're doing not very effective damage either way, let's go ahead and do a little bit more not very effective damage with... Frenzy plant. Let's see if we can switch out in time. We can. For the Gallade, we should be able to tank out Ancient Power fairly well, I believe. Oh, yeah. Able to handle that with relative ease. That we are able to confusion Giratina out of existence and secure ourselves another victory. Or our first victory with this team. GG's, GG's all around. Go ahead and jump into our third match of Ultra League for the night of the set. So match number three is against Sakata 2046. Alright Sakata, let's see what you got. First matchup is against the Venusaur, so I think we have ourselves a pretty, pretty decent, uh, pretty decent start here, I would say. That though, we are going to need to um, shield our way to victory though, so I'll you know, take whatever victories we can get. We have decided to fire off Sludge Bomb of all things, so not sure what the what the full plan was there, but um, nonetheless. We are going shieldless for the rest of the match, but we are at the very least able to clear out the Venusaur with our Gallade, so I will take that. And with that, we have returned to our old 
my gold friend, Giratina. My goodness, Giratina just will never leave. That, let's go ahead and hit him where it hurts with this close combat. Probably not gonna, still going to be very effective, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> with that though, I am going to go ahead and switch out for my Empoleon. Might as well. That though, I'm assuming they're coming in hot with Shadow Sneak, Dragon Claw, or Ancient Power. It is Dragon Claw, so our Steel Typing will help us out fairly well here. That we are left with no choice but to slowly but surely peck away at this altered Giratina. At the very least, we were able to clear out their second shield, so I will take that. Thank you very much. <laughs> That though they are able to fire out another Dragon Claw our way. Definitely not feeling the greatest, but our Steel Typing is carrying us to victory today. <laughs> well, it's trying its best to carry us to victory today. Now let's go ahead and get another Drill Peck. Or get a Drill Peck going. Check at this Giratina real quick, get a decent amount of damage going, and with that, let's see if we can force, yep, we have forced it to fire off at least one more Dragon Claw. At the very least, we have that going for us. <laughs> that, I'm gonna go ahead and bring back the Glade, hopefully, yep, we are able to clear out the Giratina with Confusion. And with that, we are now face to face with a Swampert. So our, I think our odds are looking, our odds are looking really good right now. Not gonna lie. I think we're sitting at a very nice spot right now. And fortunately, with that Leaf Blade and that Last Confusion, we are able to clear them out and secure ourselves another victory. GGs, GGs, all around. Before I move on to the next battle, give me one moment to turn on Do Not Disturb. As much as I'm sure all of you love to see my notifications, uh, <laughs> I, think, I think it's a little bit interrupting the flow of the stream. So um, let's go, go ahead and fine. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Mash is curious of another victory. Let's see if we can go for another one as we go against Ermew 2. Alright, Ermew 2, what do you got? Excuse me. Alright, first, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, first matchup is against a Swamper. Fortunately, we have ourselves the right, uh, the right, uh, the right charge move for the job. You know, I can put on a general serve. Oh, yeah. No worries. I got you. I got you. I got you on the do not disturb mode. It's just I forgot to turn it on before we started streaming, which is... <laughs> I know, right? Rookie mistakes, I know, but... In my defense, it's been two weeks since I've done anything off mobile. <laughs> Seems like a personal issue. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I keep that information private, you know. You never know. You never know what comes through on those. Bring in the Mel Metal, but fortunately we have a charge move answer for that as well. I think they're out of shields too. So let's go ahead and get that going. Yes. Why I brought in Venusaur of all things, I don't know, but it's it's out there now. They know, they know I'm well equipped for Swampert, I guess. But we managed to clear out the moment at the very least. And look who has made a comeback for the fourth or fifth time this match. It is Altered Giratina in all of its glory. Oh my goodness. So glad to see you for the hundredth time. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Alter Giratina is kind of like 
a main OG meta staple of Ultra League, so... It's, shouldn't be surprising, but at the same time, why? <laughs> How many times am I gonna see an Alter Gear, Alter Gear Tina in my lifetime? I complain about this like I haven't like used Alter Giratina like not like two matches ago. <laughs> well, they decided to try and switch into the Swampert, but my Empoleon has decided to say like, "Nah, fam, get out of here. I'm not about to deal with your Swampert today." <laughs> but I believe Empoleon should be able to. Yep, Empoleon is able to finish off the Giratina, and we're able to secure ourselves another victory. GG's, GG's, all around. Alright, so with that, I believe we're in our final match of this set. I'm not 100% sure, I'm not gonna lie to you, I think I blacked out at like one or like previous sets, so I'm not sure. But um, right now, our supposed last match is gonna be against Sion94, rocking a Sylveon. With all of its, um... Ah, I forgot. My fighting typing is not helping me here. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch Gallade out and bring in our steel typing in the form of Empoleon. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and peck away at this Sylveon here. And I believe no matter what move Sylveon knows as its charge move, we should be able to tank it out no problem. Thanks to our steel typing. His draining kiss. We feel nothing. Uh, with that though, they do come in with the Gigalith. It's the Gigalith. <laughs> that, fortunately, we do have a response to that in the form of Hydro Cannon. And we are able to get your Gigalith right out of here. With that, they do come in once again with the Sylveon. Should be able to clear that out with relative ease. That we are now face to face with a Charizard. Suddenly beginning to understand why they decided to um, try to switch out the one they did. I'm about to make either pro gamer move or the biggest mistake of my life. Let's go ahead and fire off this close combat. Ah. Uh, I have made a mistake. <laughs> I have made a terrible mistake. That though, let's go ahead and bring in the Venusaur. We have two shields on us, surprisingly, so... You know, we should be able to handle these blast burns, at the very least. Get one sludge bomb in, I think. Yep, we're able to use our final shield, save the Venusaur. Get that sludge bomb in, and hopefully with that we should be able to clear out the Charizard. See the deal with the worst possible matchup? I'll take it. <laughs> GG's. GG's all around. And with that we managed to secure our 30th win for, our, for the uh, rank up requirements for level 44, so I'll take that as well. And yeah, with that, we started out with a tie and only went up from there, so we managed to secure four wins out of five. I'll definitely take that. I'll take this 470 Stardust, this Fast TM, we got ourselves a Gothita. I think I, I think... I'll pine up anyway. I feel like the shield thing takes away from how Pokemon Battle is supposed to go. Uh, I can see that. I can see that. It's kind of like a in your pocket protect kind of thing. So, but at the same time, I guess it's a the, the closest they can get to like a compromise for the fact that you know everyone's fighting like in real time at each other, and I guess it adds like maybe like two percent more strategy to the battle. You know, instead of like, who can get to their charge move the fastest, it's like, oh, do I want to fire off this charge move now, or should I wait until, um, 
are gonna be spend all this time charging up the solar beam only to get like blocked out and I don't know. Kind of see where they're trying to come from with this one. Try to stay true to like a more fast paced, real quick kind of matches thing, but. Definitely gives it a much more different vibe than the, um. Than the, uh. Way Pokemon, uh, Pokemon battles usually go. Can't argue with that. <laughs> uh, in any event, so far we've been able to hold strong in our matches. We were able to get ourselves four wins out of five on the first one. We matches sweep the second set with five and zero. Oh, and so there's another four and one in the previous set. So now we are entering into our final set of the night, our final remix set, Ultra League remix remix set. I believe that's going to be it for Go Battle League Season 9 entirely because I th don't know if it's coming back in, in, the next, in the next round of Ultra League Battles. Gotta double check on that, but nonetheless, we're also going to be battling it out for our rank 10 rewards, so the good news is no matter what, we're going to be getting ourselves up to rank 11 by the end of this, um, but... We also got ourselves a nice amount of uh, Stardust bonuses to look forward to as well. So, uh, With that, I am actually going to jump into the premium rewards for this one. Use a premium battle pass for it since, well, one win basically equals two in premium. So, <laughs> you know, I feel like, I feel like that at the very least that's worth it. So at least if I get one win in premium, it's kind of like getting two in for the most part. Uh, <laughs> Enough of me rambling, let's go ahead and jump into our final set of Ultra League Remix where we'll be starting out with Machamp up front and center. Uh, we got ourselves the Shiny Flex in the form of Magnezone hanging out in the center and finally we'll be closing out with the ever um, existent, <laughs> ever existent Regice. But, let's see how this goes. Alright, so first match is against Momiji Legend. Alright, Momiji, how legendary are you? That is very legendary. <laughs> Alright, so that first matchup is with a Zekrom. Dan Okakashi was a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> Kashi is a man of many talents. <laughs> it only stands to reason. <laughs> that he too will work to be the very best that no one ever was. <laughs> Alright, so with that we were able to clear out the Zekrom, unfortunately. Done a lot easier than I was expecting. With that we are now face to face with a Polyrath. Oh, buddy. What we are left with here? Dilemma. Shining gun, he can't copy. Uh, Shining gun, he can't copy the moves. It's okay. It's okay. We'll give him Ditto, so he can't. He can't copy the moves, but he can copy the Pokemon. <laughs> Well, yeah, I feel like that answers my question fairly well. Let's go ahead and bring in the Magnazone here. I'm definitely going to want to shield this one, even if it is Ice Punch, because I have a bad feeling. Yep, it's Dynamic Punch. I'm definitely glad I shielded on that one. No lie. No lies detected there. Uh, but with that, we are now face-to-face -face with a Charizard. Uh, with that, I am going to go ahead and fire off a Zap Cannon its way. And we are able to clear out the first shield there, and we are able to reduce its attack, fortunately. Uh, with that, I am going to go ahead and bring in the Reg Ice. Amaterasu. <laughs> Speaking of Amaterasu. <laughs> 
that can we get to blizzard we can get to blizzard the big question is is blizzard gonna be able to do enough against the charizard don't know and we'll never know because well blocked us out and with that though i'm assuming it had enough time to charge up blast burn two times over so we're definitely gonna want to look out for that one oh no it was dragon claw I was saved up. With that though, we do have enough energy for Wild Charge. I'm pretty sure they're out of shields, so we should be a okay here. Yes. <laughs> the battle pass is not in vain. <laughs> we at least got one win. GG's, GG's all around. Seriously though. I, I, I have a sneaking suspicion we are very close to a we are very close to a blast burn in our future. Good thing we had some extra energy to spare. <laughs> yeah, that's win number one. Let's see if we can win number two against Ice Storm 9988. All right, Ice Storm, what do you got? First matchup is gonna say Needle Queen. I was promised an Ice Storm. Excuse you. If there is not a single ice Pokemon in your team, I am going to riot. But I actually am going to try and see if uh, Machamp can tank out this next move. I don't know if it can, but where we're at. <laughs> but I actually am going to go ahead and switch out for the Reg Ice. In which case, they will switch out for the Shiny Flex. Shiny Flex Charizard, mind you, which was so shiny flex that it caused my game to lag for a second there. <laughs> that though, let's go ahead and hit him hard. We hit him actually really hard with the blizzard, so I'll definitely take that. My goodness. Now with that... I am going to go ahead and shield actually. Oh, I guess we didn't mean to. I don't know if we really needed to shield on that one, honestly. Probably not going to shield the next one. Not Death Cannon, it's Yori, and not Blast, Blast Fire, it's Amaterasu. Fair enough. Well. Well, with that, Charizard has amaterasu our our lovely little Reg Ice out of existence. Uh, we did manage to try and find a way to Chidori the, uh, was it? Yes, now we're going into the Chidori stuff. <laughs> Got a Amaterasu, yes. Got a Amaterasu hard. <laughs> uh, with that, let's I'm gonna attempt to see if we can tank out Sludge Bomb. We still can, so fortunately we still have that going for us. That though, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fire off another Wild Charge their way. Why not? Managed to actually clear out one of the shields, so I'll take that. Uh, that we're gonna go ahead and bring back Machamp. I am actually gonna go ahead and shield out to this next move. It is Frenzy Plans. Very thankful I did decide to shield that one. That things are not looking particularly well for us here, because unfortunately we do have ourselves a. Uh, ground type to deal with right after this Venusaur so um, yeah <laughs> the good news is that we can actually still do damage despite the immunity to electric typing moves the bad news is it doesn't really do much it doesn't really do much help for us so unfortunately Yes, our full team has gotten the thousand years of death. <laughs> R.I.P. guys. No recovering from that one. <laughs> but nonetheless, GG's, GG's all around. Alright, so with that, I believe we are currently sitting at 1 and 1. Uh, and yeah, uh, currently sitting with a tie, but you know we have we have three more matches in us. We can still get back into the positive. 
see how well we do against a better 7798. Alright, better. Better a tie than a loss. True, true, true. Right now, we are currently face to face with an Ampharos. That's a wild one. We are able to get ourselves a decent amount of neutral damage with that cross chop. We do seem to be experiencing a tad bit of technical difficulties. There we go. I have returned to the battle. I will go ahead and use up our first shield here. I need to deal with Thunder Punch there. Uh, it does seem like they're going to fire off another Thunder Punch, so go ahead and see how well we can tank that out. The answer is not very, but, you know, it was worth a try. It was worth a try. <laughs> and with the ever low sliver of health that we have, we did manage to seal the deal against the Ampharos. Now we are face to face with a Dragonite, and at the very least we are able to get the first the first hit on it with our um, with rock slide at the very least. But what? Oh, <laughs> sorry, that took me a second. I was like, I was prepping for like a shield or something, but I guess I guess that never happened. That they have decided to switch out, so I'm gonna actually switch out for my my lovely little Magnezone. Also not really feeling the heat, not mind mind you. Also not really feeling like dealing with the heat. So it's definitely not happy about dealing with that, but you know at the very least we can get two wild charges going before it gets to another incinerate. So I will take that. Ah, uh, never mind. I miscounted. I miscounted horribly, and now unfortunately, I think this Red Ice is gonna to need to take on the full blast of the full blast of Amaterasu. It's gonna get Amaterasu pretty hard. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, fire types are are very much our bane in this one. But nonetheless, GGs, GGs, nonetheless. Uh, with that though. Before we move on to the next match, considering the massive oversight that is two Pokemon weak to fire, I'm gonna change that. <laughs> change that real quick. Uh, oh, uh, Mickey. Uh, I'm... Mickey, hello and welcome to. Welcome to the stream. Do I have Mesprit in my Pokedex? Funny you should mention that. I actually did just get my first um, Mesprit not too long ago. Actually trade. We're out of range. Sorry friend, we're out of range. I didn't know the icon still showed. Um, but yes, I do. St I have gotten myself my very first Mesprit not too long ago. Um, in case you're wondering, I use an. Uh, I was actually able to get Mesprit through an app known as Poke Raid, um, which actually shows you like was it all the active. Um, like raid lobbies for like remote raiding and whatnot so rather difficult considering the fact that all of the lake trio is in high demand so it's really difficult to um uh, i'm wondering for invite for uxie or azelf oh if you do want to friend me i can send you an invite for azelf um side note i'm able to i'm able to shiny or shiny flex my uh as of here but um yeah if you ever want to send out if you ever need a as of invites i'll definitely try and send them out as much as i can um i mainly I, I mostly hit them up at work but where i work is pretty much like the central hub of like activity for pokemon go in my area so um it's gonna be um on my weak team oh sure we will, we'll duke it out real quick uh let me let me change up my team real quick. No no spoilers here. Uh, 
but yeah um yeah if you want to send out a friend request um when the when the screen comes back up um the my most active account will be the top um will be the top uh One K five hundred and two hundred. Oh, if you invite me, folks, you're as if I invite you for my special on. I'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, I'll definitely add you right after this battle, real quick. Uh, or maybe not real quick. We could. We'll see how this. We'll see how this battle goes. <laughs> That's the CPs and no shields. All right. Tell you what. I've set up a team. My first one is a tad bit under a thousand. My second one is one CP under five hundred. My last one is two hundred one. So, well, I'm curious to see. <laughs> I, I tried to mirror as best I can. I hope I'm able to match up. Let's see how this goes. Party is set. Screen is set. Best of luck to you, sir. And for Mickey, the, the friend code is on the bottom there if you want. <laughs> Alright, first matchup. Haunter versus Frillish. Ah, uh, shoot. Oh, you went with 300 first. Shoot, I'm bad. That's my bad. That's my B. That's my B. I set up wrong. I set up my team wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> That matter, I'm gonna go ahead and actually send out my 200 to try and do its best. <laughs> oh, superpower! Ah, uh, that I think my haunter has enough in it to finish. Oh, shoot, it's a cast for. Actually, this could actually spell some pretty nasty trouble for my... Not gonna lie, this would actually set up some pretty nasty trouble for my, um... For my Haunter here. <laughs> oh, shoot. So that's my bad. I didn't know you were starting out with the, the 200. That's my B. But, um, uh, nonetheless, if the cast form. Honestly, <laughs> if anything, if we were like even CP set, Hunter and cast form, I might have actually been in some serious trouble. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> yeah, that would have been, um, that would have been a thing. I cast saved you for a bit, dude. That was... That actually concerned me for a moment. <laughs> I don't know if Haunter could have matched. But in any event, oh, let me... Before I do this one more time, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and add Mickey up here. Type to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm just not typing it in right. Ah. Sorry, right, friend. I don't know how to add you. <laughs> Try my best. Speaking of trying my best. I've decided to change up the team a little bit. <laughs> uh, right now, we're rocking with, we're still rocking with Machamp up the front, and we're still gonna try our Red Rice up in the mid, up in the end. But we also got ourselves uh, Garchomp rocking Earth Power up in the middle now, so might be able to get something good there. <laughs> but really, there's only one way to find out. Okay, that first matchup is against Grim 97 and. Let's do this. 
Alright, first matchup is against an Obama Snow, so we're actually pretty up, starting out with a very solid start. Uh, with that though, we are now face to face with a uh, Moltres. We have decided to switch out for the Guard Chomp. Um, actually, I'm going to try and tank out the first attack. What's Purify on a Pokemon? So, in game, there are a couple of Pokemon who are captured by Team Rocket. Of all things, um, and when you defeat a Team Rocket Grunt, you get yourself a sh the Shadow version of a Pokemon. Into which case, it's basically um, how do I put it? Uh, it's basically Team Rocket decided this Pokemon's too weak. Let's try and like buff up its stats a little bit, and so it. Kind of like genetically modified it with like steroids or something and that makes the Pokemon stronger but also angrier or something like that. Uh, <laughs> so in order to free it of its evil steroids, you purify said sh uh, Shadow Pokemon, so... Apologies, that's a very weird and dumbed down way to put <laughs> um, purifying a Pokemon, but uh, that's that's pretty much what I'm, um, a big takeaway. Basically, um, you purify a Pokemon, you're freeing it from the shadow version of itself that has been brought to light thanks to, uh, looking out. <laughs> Catching nothing but the stupid cat Pokemon, Glamiao. Yeah, Glamiao is uncomfortably uncomfortably common. <laughs> Glamio is an uncomfortably common Pokemon. I want to clear out the final... the final shield on their end. Let's see if we can have... Uh, well, right now they're clearing out the shield on our end. Uh, oh, Hydrolini, thank you so very much for the follow. Greatly appreciated. Ah, shoot. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the stream, Hydrolini. Uh, you're just in time to watch my Machamp take on the full force of a weather ball. Actually, with great success, surprisingly. <laughs> and with that, Alligator has returned, but we do have Rock Slide on our side. So let's go ahead and fire that off. And hopefully that's enough. Yep, that is definitely enough to clear out the Alligator. <laughs> good news we managed to tie everything up two and two for this set so ggs ggs all around all right so with that formula seems to be doing fairly well for us let's see if we can carry us to one final positive victory one final positive win loss set of tonight as we go into our fifth and final match against gin tonic 59 59 Alright, Gin Tonic, what do you got? First matchup is against a Jellicent. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out for a little bit more neutral damage in the form of... Oof. I switched the Garchomp, but they came prepared with the Alolan Ninetales. At the very least, we should be able to clear the shield out with this Earth Power. Or clear the nine tails, or do decent damage to the nine tails. One of them. <laughs> With that though, just to stall a little bit more for time, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out for my red ice. Uh, it's probably, it's definitely not gonna to do too much damage to the nine tails, but at the very least, we should be able to tank out, tank out its moves, and you know, do a decent chunk of damage with this boost. Not very effective damage, but. Uh, Blizzard is still known to be quite a nuke, so or at least we'll have that going for us. That though, we are now once again face to face with the Jellicent. Uh, right now, Lock On is doing virtually nothing to it. See, probably more so than it originally did. <laughs> With that, they waste no time and fire off the Shadow Ball. Fair enough, fair enough. That though, we'll go ahead and fire off. Blizzard one final time against this Jellicent. 
couple extra damage in there. And with that, let's go ahead and switch out for Armor Champ. Shield out this next attack because I'd rather not get nuked out by Shadow Ball. It's Bubble Beam, so unfortunately our attack is falling due to that. Um, that. Let's go ahead and fire off our first of hopefully many rock slides their way. And with that, we are able to get off a decent amount of damage on that. I am going to go ahead and shield one final time, just in case. It is indeed Shadow Ball, so I'm very thankful that I shielded on that one. Uh, but with that, they are coming in hot with the Needle Queen. And unfortunately, I think Needle Queen is enough to finish off our team here. RIPs, but you know, at the very least, we might as well try and not go down without a fight. <laughs> Try and keep it going as much as we can. Keep the dream alive. Ikaro Legend 97, thank you very much for the follow. Get to you're just in time to witness our final demise. <laughs> oh, there goes our Reg Ice. And there goes our Machamp. R.I.P.'s there, but nonetheless, GG's, GG's all around. So there we go. Unfortunately, it's not a great, wasn't a great set. Um, hello and welcome nonetheless, Lucario Legend 97 for joining us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, we only got ourselves two wins out of five on that one. Kind of an unfortunate one to have our our are tanking there but at the very least you know we did still use our premium rewards so we did get pretty much the same amount of stardust as we would if we did four wins out of um, <laughs> four wins out of uh five in basic so take whatever victories you can get including these 3000 stardust as well as our arrival to rank 11 and we also got ourselves a bonus 30, 360 Stardust, so I will take that. <laughs> uh, at the very least, you have yourself a decent team. That sounds not. That sounds. That sounds good. Uh, yeah, I, I try to experiment as much as I can with teams. Sometimes they're great. Sometimes they're. Sometimes they get me 5 and 0s, sometimes they get me 2 and 3s, sometimes they get me 0 and 5s. Especially if it's Master League, in which case there is a lot of 0 and 5s. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, there we go. We got ourselves. Team is Lolly Muck, Lugia, and Swampert. Curious to know how Lugia is, because I know Lolly Muck and Swampert are definitely um, huge meta. Meta Pokemon. Uh, Lugia sounds interesting. Probably has some pretty decent coverage with that one. Yeah. Um, yeah so, uh, <laughs> I thank you guys for joining the stream. I, I greatly, greatly appreciate it, but um, I think I can cover a few Pokemon. Oh, that's good. Yeah, Lugia is, is fairly tanky. Yeah. Year round, but <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. This uh, that was pretty much my last set of the night. Um, yeah, um, yeah. Trav, uh, this that uh, pretty much concludes it for the night. Um, fortunately, we were able to, you know, do a fairly good amount of sets early on. We got ourselves that four and one. Uh, clear. Got ourselves a good five and zero oh in the middle. Uh, then we got another four and one, and unfortunately closing out with two and three. But you know it is, it is what it is. But kind of got got myself kind of an early day tomorrow, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it a uh, call it a night uh, before I go. What level am I, voy or at voyaging trainer? I don't know if I really need to say that. What level am I? I am currently level. Not level 50. I am currently level 43. <laughs> 43, rocking a shiny Azelf, and 
tonight I was able to get myself the 30 uh, trainer battle wins in Ultra League in order to get to level level 44. But um, and yeah. Uh, <laughs> nonetheless, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you very much for tuning in to this stream. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Trav uh, slash Celotage. Uh, Hydrolini and Lucario Legend, thank you very much for the follow. Um, uh, thank you very much for tuning in once again, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you.